Good afternoon, Facebook family. Good afternoon, YouTube family. God is good. God is always good. Yes, God is always good. I'm always smiling. I'm always thankful because God is always good. Um, today's, or should I say tonight's um, word is coming from John 10, verse 10. And it reads, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. John 10 and 10. Say yes to life. Let me read something to you guys. Every day of your life is a time of bondless opportunities to do good and to grow spiritually. And remember, the future belongs to you. And you can do with it whatever you want to because God has given you freedom of choice. God, in his grace, gave you life with a simple purpose. Every day is a gift from the loving hand of God. But you can only live life to the full when you subject yourself to his purpose for your life. Live your life accordingly to what God wants you to do. Stop worrying about what people think about you. Stop worrying about what people um, say about you. Live for Christ. Say yes to your life. Say yes to Jesus Christ, which is our Lord and Savior. He wants the best for you. Stop worrying about what other people think. Live your life. You only have one life. I tell my wife, I tell my friends and my co-workers all the time. I said, you only have one life. And you have to live it right and make sure that Jesus is a part of your life. You know, I was going to make another video um, earlier and I wanted to really um, put together this video and say, what if God came back and he found you dirty? I know you're probably wondering, like, what do you mean found me dirty, found you not right? Find that you are not worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yes, I switched it up. Found out that you were not worthy. Found out that you wasn't ready. It's time for us to get prepared. It's time for us to start doing what Christ Jesus wants us to do. Because you know what? It's just like, and this is an example. It's just like when you go to the doctor. And you get your daily, or I mean, you get your your monthly or what, whatever checkup that you get. You get a checkup. You want to make sure that you are clean. You want to make sure that you are right. You want to make sure that your body is, is intact. You want to make sure everything is good. So what I'm saying to you today is, think about if God came back and he found you dirty. And not to say that you will be, but I'm saying, make sure that you're right. Make sure that you're intact. Make sure that you are living the life that Jesus Christ wants you to live. Don't get caught living a dirty life. Live according to the scriptures. Live according to what God wants you to do. Fulfill your purpose. Do as God wants you to do. You don't have to be a part of the crowd. You don't have to follow the, 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 the worldly things that's going on. Live your life. Live your best life. Make sure Jesus finds you clean. Make sure that he finds that you are righteous, that you are um, ready to enter. A lot of people would not be ready. A lot of people won't be ready. And a lot of people go go on with life and they just live their life and they do what they want to do. And they say, well, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do that. You don't want to live like that. Have some standards. Live your best life, but make sure that you live it according to the scriptures. Live it the way Jesus Christ would want you to live. You know, an old saying a lot of people used to say it back in the day, um, WWJD, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? How are you living your life right now? Is God pleased at how your life is? 
Or you just say, well, God knows my heart. He knows what's going on in my life. Of course, he knows what's going on in your life. But are you doing what it takes to get your life right? A lot of us can say that um, God knows our heart and he knows what's going on. But it's up to you. You have the choice. You have the choice. God has given us free will to make those decisions, whether we're going to live wrong or we're going to live right. So my word for you guys today is make sure that you're living right. Make sure when God comes back or whenever God calls you home, make sure that you're living a Christian lifestyle. Make sure that when it's time for you to be called, that God says, welcome in. You've been fruitful. You've been faithful. So come on in. Just make sure that God sees your heart and he knows and he sees that you've been living a good lifestyle, a good Christian lifestyle. Continue to pray. Continue to pray for others. I love you guys. And remember, Jesus Christ loves you more. So with every eye closed and head bowed. Father God, I come saying thank you for today. Thank you, Father God, for letting us see today, Father God. Father God, I ask right now that you touch your people. Touch the individuals that's watching this video, Heavenly Father. Father God, I ask right now that they choose you. I ask right now, Father God, that they live a, a good lifestyle, Father God, that when it's their time, Father God, that they, that they may be found corrected, Father God, but found worthy, Father God. Father God, I ask right now that you touch them, Father God. Strengthen them when they're weak, Father God. Give them peace. Give them understanding, Father God. Father God, I ask right now that you touch their minds, touch their bodies, Father God. Touch their hearts. Touch their families. Touch their children, Father God. Anything that's that's bothering them, Father God, I ask that you remove it, Father God. I ask right now anything that's inside of them, Father God, that doesn't belong, I ask right now that you just take it away right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, whatever they may need, Father God, that may work, that may help them, Father God, get closer to you, Father God. I ask right now that you go and you supply everything that they need, Father God. We love you. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in this season, Father God. I ask right now that you bless each and every individual right now, Heavenly Father. Father God, it's a lot going on in today's world, Father God, but we trust you, Heavenly Father. Father God, a lot of people that dealing with struggle, Father God. A lot of people are dealing with cancer, Father God. A lot of people are dealing with heart, heart, heart problems, Father God. A lot of people are dealing with breakups, Father God. But Father God, we know that you are a good God, Father God. We know that you can turn it around. We know that you can heal. We know that you can deliver, Father God. We know that you can strengthen, Father God, where it's weak, Father God. And we just give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus Christ's name. Father God, we want to rebuke Satan right now in the name of Jesus. We cast out any demonic spirit, Father God. We cast out any demons, Father God. We cast out every evil thought, Father God, right now in your son, Jesus Christ's name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the power. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and thank God. Make sure you're found right. Make sure God finds you clean. Live according to the scriptures. I love you guys. And remember, Jesus Christ loves you more. Until next time, you guys be blessed.